I'm biased towards October. It's my favorite month in New York City. The colors are changing and seasonal menus are updated. Yes, it's a tad chilly during this month, but it's still enjoyable. And New York wouldn't be complete without our six free things to do in the month of October. Welcome to Urban Caffeine. All together now, hit that like button. What better way to kick off October than with a fall festival? The Dykeman Farmhouse, the oldest farmhouse in Manhattan, will be hosting a fall festival. Events like a cider demonstration and bachata workshop will be free. And if you feel like extending your stay into the evening, for $20, you can enjoy a steel drum performance and a couple of drinks. The Dykeman Farmhouse is located all the way north in Inwood, Manhattan. It was built around 1785, that's 237 years ago. That's almost a quarter of a millennium. Today it's a museum and you can visit for only $3, so that's almost free. You can get there by either taking the A train or a 5 to 10 minute walk from the 1 train. Many people fall in love with New York during autumn, and there's a reason for that. All those stunning orange, yellow, and red leaves are enough to elevate anyone's heart rate. In New York City, greens start to turn into autumn colors in the beginning of October and peak towards the later half of the month all the way through November. The best free places to enjoy fall colors are Fort Tryon, Central Park, and Prospect Park. Starting with Central Park, it's one of the most iconic urban parks in the world. Make sure to check out this video on its full breakdown. It's flanked by the CNB trains to the west, and the 456 trains are an 8 to 10 minute walk from the east, along with other train options to the north and south. Fort Tryon is in Inwood. It's a bit of a trek north, but worth the trip. It's a very peaceful part of Manhattan. At Fort Tryon is the Met Cloisters, which is a satellite of the Met Museum. It has a large collection of medieval art. And if you're a New York local or a student of one of these three states, you can pay what you wish to get in. Fort Tryon is accessible by the A train, or a 10-minute walk from the 1 train. And if you want a full guide on the park, there's a video for that as well. Link is in the description. Prospect Park is the urban park of Brooklyn, designed by the same landscape designer of Central Park. And it's just as massive and beautiful. It's also right next to Brooklyn Botanic Garden, which is not free, but another good place to visit. You can get to Prospect Park by taking these trains. This S is a shuttle from the C train from the north. And speaking of botanical gardens, the New York Botanical Garden is free on Wednesdays. Whether you live in NYC or not, you can get free admission if you arrive between 10 and 11 a.m. But if you are a local, you can get free admission all day on Wednesday. But know that one trip to the New York Botanical Garden is never enough. Not only do they have gardens, activities, and a big heaping dose of nature, there's also the conservatory garden with seasonal installations. The New York Botanical Garden is in the Bronx. Disappointingly, the nearest subways are a good 15-minute walk away. An easier option is the Metro North Railroad, which you can ride from Grand Central in Manhattan. The station is just across the street from the entrance. I made a video just last week on how to ride the Metro North. Check out the link in the description below. And since we're in that season of yellows and oranges, why not add some gold to the theme? by visiting the Neue Galerie. Yes, friends, I've been practicing my German. Sprechen Sie mit mir auf Deutsch im Kommentarbereich. From now until October 24th, Neue Galerie is offering pay-what-you-wish admission since portions of the museum are closed off in preparation for a new exhibit. 
so you can pay $1 or you can pay $50. It's whatever you wish. Despite limited access to the museum, you will still see a good amount of art to include this famous piece, The Portrait of Adele Block Bauer by Gustav Klimt. And you can always pay a visit to the Neue Galerie with a stroll in Central Park, since the museum is right next to the park. You can get to Neue Galerie by taking a 5-minute walk from the 456 trains. New York has many buildings, structures, and spaces in between its grid of streets. But have you ever been curious what's inside some of these buildings that are closed off to the public? Open House New York Weekend is a free annual event where significant and noteworthy places are open to the public for three days. These places might have a tour, a talk, or other special activity. There will be hundreds of places throughout New York City, from single rooms to factories to waterways, that will be open to the public to view and learn about. And as the website claims, many of these places are rarely accessible to the public. Here are some dates to be aware of. A list of participants that will open their spaces to the public will be released on October 6th. Make sure you reserve your slot for any of these places you want to visit on October 13th, and get ready to explore on this weekend. And lastly, October is not complete without Halloween. If you have a cool costume to show off and would like to promenade around town, you can do so at the Halloween Parade. It's free to march in the parade. And it's free to watch it. The parade goes through Greenwich and Soho. It marches along 6th Avenue, starting at Canal Street around 7 p.m. and ending at 15th Street right around 11 p.m. If you want to march in the parade, you will need to show up at Canal and 6th Avenue between 6.30 and 9 p.m. According to the website, you can only enter from the east and south, namely Sullivan, Broome, and Canal Streets. If you're coming from the west, your entry point is Canal Street. And don't forget that a costume is mandatory. But if you would rather watch the parade go by, you can watch on either side of 6th Avenue from King Street to 15th Street. As with any big event in the city, make sure to check service status on the subway and other public transit before going. And you know what else is free to do? Sharing this video with someone you know. It's one of the best ways to help out this channel. On the last Saturday of every month, there's a new Free Things To Do video, so make sure you're subscribed. And thank you to all those that go beyond liking and sharing Urban Caffeine videos. These are the longtime and recent patrons. Patreon members get exclusive access to my NYC and Creator blogs, free downloadable goodies, and every now and then, some free swag. If you're interested in joining this community, check out patreon.com slash urbancaffeine. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and happy New Yorking!